and uh, they confuse you. They're um, distorting the truth because the Gentiles is, is a concept that's important to have that they're the European people because they're also spoke a lot in the so-called New Testament. And you got to understand that it's the Gentiles we're talking about from the Jephet. You know, let's see uh, the sons of Jephet, Gomer and Magog and Madai and Javan. We are, we know already Javan. They're the Greeks, uh, Magog, they're the Russians, um, <coughs> and so on. Okay, and um, verse 3, it says, The sons of Gomer are Ashkenazi. Well, those are the Ashkenaz Jew, uh, Jews that are um, are fraudulent in the, uh, is Israel right now, claiming to be um, the true uh, Israelites. Um, they're not. And um, the Ashkenazi Jews are... The frauds, and that's where we get the Nazi party, but that's a whole different lesson right there. So, <clears throat> moving on. So we established what the Israelites look like. We can pinpoint where they are today. I'm not going to get into his lessons, but take your King James, King James Version Bible, open up to Deuteronomy chapter 8. And it's the, there's about 70 verses. Read all the verses and ask yourself, ask yourself, who can these people be? You can pinpoint them today. There's not one one nation, one peoples today, except one that could fit that description. And they are the the, the so-called African Americans in America and scattered around the world. Any oppressed people like that? Look at look at it, look into Deuteronomy chapter uh, twenty-eight, and uh, you tell me. Okay. Hey, thanks for staying with me. This is uh. Mozart mostly uh, speaking up for my uh, the nation of Israel, uh, Shalom Israel, and the saints of the Most High God, the Most High Elohim, and I'll see you guys down the road.